Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics with a short video to show the connection between the transfer function and a transform. Here is our low pass filter which we have analyzed. Here is the differential equation that describes the input voltage in terms of the resistor current charging of the capacitor and this uh, VI of T if it's charging uh, the voltage is positive but then it could be alternating you know discharge charge back and forth it's a general function and here the output is the ratio of the charge to the capacitor the voltage in a sense here is given by that formula and then we apply the Fourier transform to both sides of this equation using our rules we get j omega here and then we have the R times the Fourier transform of the Q represented here by capital Q and we do the Fourier transform over here no derivatives so we simply have the capital Q which represents the Fourier transform and look what happens if we take the ratio of the Fourier transforms Q's cancel, I get the transfer function. This is amazing that the transfer function is given by the ratio of the Fourier transforms output relative to the input here. Remember before when we had a product of Laplace transforms in transform space, that meant in regular space a convolution. Now here we have the transfer function which resides in a space, a transform space and when you take the ratio of these Fourier transforms you have the transfer function. Then when you take the absolute magnitude or the absolute value of that transfer function you get back to something in the regular space, the transmission, the transmission for the filter. So that's wild stuff and for a practice problem here, how about if you look at the Laplace transform where the initial charge is zero on the capacitor and show that with this substitution, the S that comes from the Laplace transform, let that be J omega that you get the same result.